Hi again, and this is George at thecreditjungle.com. Just coming again with one tip that I would like to share on your tax preparation for the 2018 tax year. A lot of people, whether it's a business or an itemized deduction, you can take uh, a mileage or actual expenses uh, for your vehicle use, at least that portion of it that's business, and at 54.5 cents per mile, which is what you could take last year, a lot of people will find that they can take more money using the mileage, which can easily be tracked if you have one of the mileage apps that you can install on your phone. It's compliant with all the IRS guidelines and does an easier job of if you're trying to keep a journal or some kind of other entry for that. The other advantage to doing that is that from a mortgage underwriting guideline, we consider 24 and a half cents of that mileage to be depreciation. So if you had 10,000 business miles that you traveled, that would be a $2,450 add back to your income that you would not get if you're taking actual expenses. So you'd have another $200 a month of qualifying income when it comes time to get a mortgage. So just something to consider and there's some other very practical tips that again we can increase or maximize what you're deducting as far as you're uh, saving as much as you can on your tax liability but not shooting yourself in the foot when it comes time to get a loan. Anyway, talk to you soon. This is George out from thecreditjungle.com.